Hey guys, welcome back to another yeah. vlog. Today, I haven't filmed in a bit. Like, I haven't uploaded in a couple of weeks. I just took a little break. I just wasn't feeling it. I'm still not feeling overly motivated as far as like artistic stuff goes. We'll see how today goes, but today is filming. So today is a day that I set aside to do this stuff. So the first thing I'm doing is finishing. I have three, six, 12 gel polishes that I still need to do the dots for. If you remember one of my past videos, I showed you guys all this, but I didn't finish like 12 of them. So yeah, I literally remember saying in that video that I was gonna like, sign off and go finish them and knowing that I probably wasn't gonna. Anyway, I'm doing it now. So this is the only, I guess there's a few left over there. I literally only have one full one of these left. So I'm going to need to order more because I have more glitter belt gel polishes coming and <clears throat> this one's dusty, don't, don't mind me. But <clears throat> these tabs go really great on the top because the little window for display is a little hard to see in my polish setup that you see here. I'm also trying to decide if I might, let me see if I can move you, whoa. Um, take my ugly duckling up and bring my, I don't know, I don't know, I go through this all the time, you guys have seen me do this. I don't know if I want to go up with the gel polishes. I could always go over with the Ugly Duckling, oh, something very sticky. I could go over with the Ugly Duckling as well and bring the Glitter Bells, glitters, loose glitters. Ooh, there's an idea. We'll see, we'll see. You might see me do that later. I'm just kind of trying to decide. I have like weird random stuff here, but it's the random stuff that I reach for all the time. I could also put it in a drawer, but the bottom two drawers are still all press-on stuff from when I was doing press-ons. I still do use those things for uh, doing tutorials for you guys, but um, I am going to add in a little bit of nail art in today's vlog because I found a couple of online like things on Instagram that I really want to try. Um, I found... <clears throat> Like I found this cool oh, little video. I want to try to recreate that. I think it'll be fun. Um, that was from Nails Are Us Canada. I also found a cool one from Artistic Nail Design that was a strawberry that I really kind of want to do. We'll see. I don't know. There's a few here. A few that I've already tried and bombed. Like it's it's not been fun for nail art sometimes recently however I'm just gonna give it a whirl I'm just gonna go through my saved like I have hundreds of saved posts here and I'm gonna see if I can find some nail art just to recreate just to like get get the creativity kind of going because sometimes that's what it takes if I recreate something like to a T recreate something then it kind of allows me to do the nail art without thinking about the creative process and then I can snowball from there so I'm gonna try that, I'm drinking my tea. This is the second tea I made this morning. The first one I made, I let it cool for a while because I always do my dirty cap. Oh my God, that's embarrassing. And I went to reach for it and realized it was only hot water. I didn't put the tea bag in, so there's that. I also have one of these and I haven't had this one before. Hey you guys, have you guys had these? It's a protein bar, it's blueberry cobbler. I woke up really hungry this morning and I normally always have the same breakfast here. I have the cashy, there's a cashy bar that I really love. But I mean, what do you guys do for breakfast in the salon? Like, do you eat it there? Do you buy it? Do you eat it at home? Do you not eat any? I wanna know. Yeah, I mean these, I always wanna smell everything. It doesn't smell like anything. Okay, I'm, oh, I did get new forms. I made an AR nail supply order and I totally forgot forms and it had already shipped and stuff. It was like days later. And I went to do a new set of nails and realized the only forms I had were the Glitter Bells like gel forms. Love them actually. Like panicked and ordered more forms and just ordered them off of Amazon. But the Glitter Bells, 
gel forms are all right. I bought them ages ago. I don't think they're on the Nail Throne website right now. Um, but if they are, I'll just pop something up on the screen that will tell you that they are. And they do have a discount code. So you can use that. But I got these ones just off of Amazon. Ooh, another thing I want to do today. Okay, see, I'm starting to get my motivation. Another thing I want to do today is my own. And these are Gel X. This is all I wear now. I rarely wear acrylic. I just find Gel X so much easier for me to put on myself. Um, um, I find them, I don't know, I just find them great. I love wearing them. To me, they're the perfect length right from the get-go. So... I want to take these off, whether it's today or whether it's tomorrow, I want to redo these. And I think that I have a design ready to rock and roll that I want to wear. It's nothing serious. It's like a kickoff of a French nail. I, I'm just, I'm just going to say it. I really despise doing French nail. No, no, I don't despise it, but I don't enjoy it. I mean, when I started doing nails, you either did French or you did polish, like polish, like nail polish. So nobody did that. It took forever to dry. But I just made it so that French nails me. Anyway. Okay, let's, let's just do this. Fallen one too many times. Feeling like another ends back again, square one. Try to leave myself behind. Looking for a better place, not to stay alone. Okay, I've shut my music off. I am going to. I think I'm gonna rearrange all this. I that's what I have in my head. However. Lots of things happen in my head that we're uncertain about. So I am going to try putting my ugly duckling where my glitter bells, loose glitters are, and bringing my glitter bells down, and I don't know if that's gonna work. Then, you can't see it, but I have a drawer right here that is just jammed, plugged, right full of glitter bells. Um, colored acrylics and such and can you see yeah I have a couple of them up here and I really really like the way it looked so I thought if I have bare shelving and it looks like I have a lot less polishes than what I used to because I moved a lot of them into this cabinet the pots having the pots up here was not ideal it wasn't working out for me at all so I moved them down there However, I do still have this mishmash of like on folk, ugly duckling, lack it, be me, and on and on and on, right? Magic gel, the whole nine yards, egoist, <laughs> like there's everything right there. So I am gonna turn on my 90s rap music and I'm gonna I'm gonna get on this. So I hope you enjoy. This is how things are looking kind of from the middle over. So I did move my ugly duckling over to here. It basically did exactly what I wanted it to. I need to move around a couple of these things because they're still looking pretty ratchet. But um, my glitter bells, some of the powders, which makes that drawer a little bit more empty. Not that it matters, but these are kind of just holding up space right now. Um, I have another Glitter Bells order coming, so then some of these will go up to here. It's a whole rotational thing. And I really like the way these look down here, so I'm gonna leave those for a while. But I think I'm gonna, what time is it? Yeah, it's 12 o'clock. I'm getting kinda hungry, so I might eat. Okay, so now that I have that, like, <clears throat> well, let me tell you. So I think I showed you 
I don't even know where I'm at, that I had finished this. But here's, here's the trouble. So I finished it and then I turned around and all of the ones that I made the hats for, the dots for, are still here. So that's 12 of them and there's not enough room the way I did it for 12 more to fit up there. Uh, so it's going to have to be redone again. It's fine. It's fine. This is always what happens. Anyway, really, it is fine. I just have to move one of the glitter bells rows up. Um, glitter bells, acrylic rows up. Um, and then the locket up, it's fine. What I'm gonna do next though, is I really wanna take these off. So I have a set of, I have gel X on both hands because that is what's easiest for me to do on myself. And I have like a, it's cutie, oh, Ooh, almost had it. It's cutie crunch, cutie crush, cutie crunch on this hand. And I have, I feel pretty from glitter Vals on this hand and I'm going to remove them. I'd like to remove both hands today. I might not get both hands back on, but I would like to remove both hands. Might, might have to finish the other hand tomorrow. Might not put the other hand back on. It is outdoor season, it is garden season, it is lazy season. So I might not even put that one back on. But for the meantime, let's get started. So I am going to cut, just cut them down. Like I have my tip cutters and I am literally Gonna just cut them down in length. These are the sculpted coffin, sculpted tapered square. I can't remember what they call them. Tapered square, maybe. Chop the length right off of them, just like that. Then I am going to use my e file with a fairly coarse bit on it. Um, I wouldn't do that on a client, but on myself, it's different. And I am going to file them right down to nothing. Then I am going to use, hold on, these silk line little wrappies. I've had this box of these for seriously forever. So, okay, the box might not even look like that anymore. Not sure. And then I have these um, clippy things. But I just got off of Amazon. They were like a gift with purchase. So I didn't actually order them. I got them the first time and gave them away because I didn't think I'd ever use them. And then, so the second set I did keep because I have been using them for this. And my bottle of acetone because my acetone over here in my pump is almost empty. So yeah, let's get this party started. I have right now I just put the clippies on the nails that normally would like give me a problem with staying on which actually which actually is this one too um so I'm just gonna probably finish watching this vlog I'm watching one of the Catherine Manning vlogs if you guys are looking for I sprayed myself with acetone <laughs> That's awesome. If you guys are looking for a, like a vlogger to watch, so here's what ends up happening. This is what happens to me when I'm vlogging. I think, why am I vlogging? This is stupid. Nobody wants to see what I do every day. I'm boring. Then I watch somebody like Catherine Manning and I'll binge watch her vlogs or um, like, oh uh, no, um, Nicole Greer, 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 anyway, her, um, I'll watch their vlogs and they're doing, excuse me, jack shit all day. Not Catherine, but Nicole. Anyway, as not to insult anybody, cause I really love their vlogs. I end up binge watching them. I binge watch them for hours. I watch them just like you would watch a movie or TV and I love them. So then all of a sudden I'm like, you know what? I can vlog. People want to see that. Obviously I'm watching it. There are people out there that want to see vlogs. So then I'll vlog again for a while. And then I kind of get a little bit like in my head and I'm like, nobody wants to watch this. So th these are the things we go through. Um, 
I didn't wrap up this hand because <laughs> this hand's busy. And also I realized I'm almost out of my little wraps. So I think I'm gonna have to count them out and just see if I've got like a couple more uses in there, I'm not gonna bother. I probably could also use just a roll of tin foil and wipes but to be honest for the bother that that is i will probably just buy the foil nail wraps again from somewhere no idea where i even got those probably maritime beauty i don't really shop maritime beauty much anymore but that's how long i've had those it has been forever so my tea is cold now but a little hard to make a new one right now because the tea bags and everything are all put away um but i'm gonna finish watching her and I might watch the beginning of another vlog because I only have like four minutes left of her vlog and that's not quite enough because it is kind of cool in here. So I'm gonna give them a little extra time. There's nothing any worse than taking the foil off and realizing that you need to put it back on. I hate that. And then I am going to, okay, so I only actually have three styles of Gel X nails. I have natural square long natural round medium which is what is on this hand but I shortened them and I have sculpted coffin medium which is what I was wearing uh, I really would like to wear a stiletto and I have a stiletto in the ugly duckling so I think I'm just going to switch out the tips from gel x to ugly duckling and use the gel x product don't wrap me out don't come at me to put them on see how I make out. If I lose one, I just put it back on. It's really not a big deal. Love it. Um, so yeah, I think I'm feeling some stilettos rather than the tapered square. However, I love them and I love the sculpted arch in them. Really beautiful. But when they grow out, it makes them look funny. I'm babbling again. I'll see you guys in a bit. Didn't think I'd go this far, but here we are, the end. Now you're just a lesson learned A slowly fading memory So I can breathe again So my thumb came off like decently But I'm still gonna, I put it back on I'm still gonna give it a few more minutes I'm gonna continue to watch this vlog And yeah So if you guys, I, I should mention too Catherine Manning has a vlog channel But she also has a uh, business channel and she does kind of youtube advice and business advice it is stateside so for those of you like me that are in canada some of it doesn't apply but it still gives you a really good idea on stuff so i just wanted to mention that so Catherine manning if you want to go check her out she does have some some good social media stuff even her older instagram like videos about instagram are still relevant still great i've got a lot of advice from her so if you guys want to go check her out you should. So, it is a bit okay, back, trying it again. Just gonna roll with it this time. Um, whatever doesn't come off can be buffed off, which is totally fine. I try to be conscious of my nail health because I do wear these over and over and over again. And in the beginning, like any good nail tech, I was um, peeling them off because you know, do as I say, not as I do. So it's coming out pretty good this time. Pretty good, not bad. It'll do, it'll do, it'll do. Do you wanna watch? Anyway, it's fine. Um, I got them off. 
I like haven't even cleaned them, like wiped them off yet, but I got this hand off. And I'm trying to figure out what to do. I don't know. It's 118. I have a client coming at 3.30. I have an order coming into my house that I could drive home and get. But I don't know if it's arrived yet. I don't know how that thing gets moved around so bad. Okay, so I made a decision. I'm gonna do my nails instead of going home because it's probably a waste of gas to go home in the middle of the day. I'm trying to be a little bit more frugal. It's not really working, but anyway. I am trying to decide whether or not I wanna use the e-nail couture tips or the ugly duckling tips for my pointy nail the only thing about the e-nail couture ones is they're a lot more flexible um so i don't know whether that would hold better or not but i do love the ugly i love the shape of the ugly duckling ones so we'll see I'm trying to get them like sized out, just like half sized out, just to see what I want to do. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the ugly duckling ones. I don't even know why I'm contemplating this. It's really not. Doesn't need to be that big of a deal, but. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I keep putting them back in the wrong slots, so they're never going to come out of there in a good way anyway. Okay, so I need to set up my little light that I use. I'm probably not going to film this. You guys have seen me do this before. Um, I feel like doing my own nails is like something I often vlog. So, I'm not going to vlog that. But also because I don't follow any of the correct steps and I don't want anybody to at all think that this is any kind of tutorial because it definitely isn't. Do as I say and not as I do. Uh, I'll try to take a picture of the art I put on them. It's not really art, but just whatever I decide to put on them. I think I have in my head what I want to do. You know, I had said that I was going to film a little bit of like nail art for you guys today. I didn't get around to it. And by looking at the time now and... I need about an hour to put these nails on. It's probably not gonna happen today. Chances are it will happen tomorrow. So maybe in the next vlog, there will be a little bit of like tutorial slash, I really like to do a tutorial with the vlog. I feel like that's like more bang for your buck for you guys, but you can let me know. Let me know. Let me know how you feel about that. Well, other than taking you for my drive home, which I kind of thought would be fun, I am out. I am gonna close this vlog. I'm done. I'm done. All the links are down below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Apparently, I don't upload consistently on the same day. So if you subscribe and hit the bell, it will notify you when I do upload so that you don't miss anything. And I hope you guys are having a nice spring day. It turned out to be a little bit gloomy here, but it's still warm, so we'll take it. And I will see you next time.